Hey guys, I just wanted to come in before this video and say that this is absolutely crazy, but this film, this was filmed like in March and I just haven't edited it. So now, now it's kind of out of date, but just pretend that you're back at, right before Jujutsu Kaisen ended. Put yourself there, enjoy the video. Okay, well, I've never really made a video like this. I don't know what I'm doing very much in this video, uh, but knowing myself, I am definitely going to make more videos like this, like a hit piece sort of video. I'm a very critical person. Uh, I can look at something that some people enjoy very thoroughly and just kind of shit on it. That, that happens often, you know? I definitely feel like this one needs to be my first, my first uh, toes into the water sort of situation where basically we're gonna talk about uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. This video is just gonna be a toxic slump fest, basically. But before all that, I'm just gonna quickly speed run the explanation of this anime. Jujutsu Kaisen, as a whole, is about curses fighting each other, basically. It's a shonen, so uh, that could be summed up that quickly just for the overall explanation. But it starts with like, uh, the main character, his friends in high school, they're all hanging out. I think they have a club for the occult or something similar. And they find this finger, this cursed object finger, and they're like, oh, that's spooky. Let's, uh, I don't know, like do seances with it and shit like that. But then the cursed society, the society of uh, like people who fight these curses finds out about it and tries to stop it before it gets too late. Long story short, you know, the bunch of demon curses, people converge on these students and start eating them. But then the main character is like, oh, I can fight people. So he, he fights them, but he's not doing great. He's getting his ass whipped because um, they're all curses. curses. Editor. <laughs> Please don't fucking hold on a second. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, and then and then he, the curse guy who's there, he's like, oh, the 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 people who are like me, like curse fighters, are actually half curse, you know. We were like, we got curses inside of us, and then the main character's like, well, how do you get curses? And then he's like, oh, you just like you could just like eat something cursed, and then uh, he drops the finger and swallows it, and now he's like one of the most powerful curses ever, and he'll never fucking lose another battle. <laughs> All the cursed people are like, you know what, this guy might never fucking lose another battle and if he battles us then like, sh <laughs> shit sucks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they trap him and they're like, actually there's a bunch of these other fingers. If you go and eat these other fingers, just chew them, chew them down and then we'll kill you at the end of it and it'll be, it'll be cool. Don't worry about it. Uh, what I just explained is completely recapped within the first couple episodes, but all you gotta really know about the rest of the anime is, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen kinda fucking sucks ass. Well, at, at least compared to what other people are saying. Okay, let's just preface that. Uh, I've only really seen, like, good things said about this anime within, like, the anime community, YouTube community, shit like that. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but I feel like a lot of the ideas in Jujutsu Kaisen's also were kind of stolen from other anime, and not a lot of love put into it. We'll talk about that later. And in my opinion, the most egregious of all is the characters. And we'll, we'll talk about that right now, actually. <laughs> At no point during any of my watching of this anime did I think, oh, any of these characters could be an actual character that I could meet in real life or a believable character at all, honestly. There's a couple exceptions to that. I'll get into it a tiny bit later. But besides that, it feels like it's a completely lifeless puppet show. How am I supposed to watch and enjoy a show if all I see are drawn characters, like completely lifeless with nothing to them? I could easily look at the show and be like, like, oh, this looks fucking beautiful. The animation is amazing, but I, I don't feel connected to any of the characters in the slightest. For example, the main character is just like the shitty Naruto archetype. The whole run in, fuck shit up, don't really care about any problems, uh, not a whole lot going, going on upstairs, not really connecting with people too much, not really understanding people a whole lot, but then main charactering himself into their hearts. But yeah, just just all Naruto shit basically. The only real character development that I'm able to glean from any of uh, the main character's progression is that his grandpa, while he was sick on his deathbed, uh, he said, you should stand up for the weak. And it flashes back to that all the time as if I'm supposed to like care or something. It just goes back and he's just like, oh, stand up for the weak after every fucking thing. You know what? Let's talk about weak. That's some, it's uh, character writing is weak. 
Most characters rely off of one character gimmick or that's just their entire personality. This guy judges people completely based off of their opinion on women, which is super funny and comical and great character writing. And then this guy is literally a panda. Oh, that's good. That's really good, guys. You. <laughs> oh, yes. That one's funny. That one's funny. That one's going in the funny, funny bank for funny things. Yes, everybody laugh at that one. This guy, he literally only talks in onigiri fillings. That is comedy gold. That is just outstanding writing. It's just so fucking good. I just, I, I'm taking back. I'm taking back. I, I, I cannot fathom what is going through these people's heads. You know, like, that's like outstanding character writing. I just. All that being said, I actually do like two entire characters in this show. I wouldn't say I, I love them or anything, but uh, there's Gojo, he's here, and uh, Kento, which is also here. I guess I should give credit where credit is due for those those two characters. Kento is cool and calculated and by the books, he seems uh, almost like fam familiar to me actually. Let me just feel like maybe familiar a little bit. Oh yeah, and Gojo is very, very hot. He's very, very sexy man. Uh, there are also characters that I flip-flop on. I go from maybe slightly liking to uh, neutral to disliking. Uh, I think the best example of this is Aoi or whatever, the character I just showed earlier. Everything about him right off the bat, I fucking hate it. It just screamed like comedy shonen gimmick. Dude, this guy's Fucking epic, dude. Uh, I did kind of come around to him a little bit more when he got all buddy-buddy with Itadori, uh, the main character, but it was almost entirely just based off of the fight sequences, which is one of the few things that I will actually give to this show, which is fight sequences and their animation. Even during these fight sequences with uh, Aoi and main character guy, he's still fucking annoying, like, a lot. So much about his character just fucking irks me. The lack of character irks me. Another good example is the girl character Nobara. I like what I've seen with her in the anime so far, but knowing this sort of genre of anime, I can very easily look at it and be like, oh, she is not going to get any fucking character development unless there is a bath scene or she cuts her hair for random character development during like a fight scene or something. Just want to cut it again and say that you're actually wrong. You're wrong. So that's cool. But yeah, she's just kind of like the can-do girl character, which I mean, I, I like if it's done correctly, it's just not going to be done correctly. And so far, they're almost done with the 24 episode run of this anime. It'll definitely be completely done when this video comes out, but she hasn't gotten like any screen time at all, and I don't expect there to be any screen time for her. There is this other character. Don't particularly like him or dislike him. I just thought he was like more of like an actual human character, something that I could relate to, something that people watching around the world could relate to. But because the show is so epic and cool, they decided we don't need this bitch. Toss him out, give him like one or two episodes, and then you know, maybe maybe fuck off. Honestly, I could talk forever about all the characters in this anime uh but i do need to keep moving so if you have a character that you're curious about my opinion on you can leave it in the comments got a shill for those comments you know what i'm saying i'll respond to them i'll tell you if uh how i feel about them anyways next topic Ooh. oh yeah 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 I wouldn't even think about making this video if it weren't for so many misled souls and the people who misled them. To be honest, I probably, you know, should have put this topic first in the video, maybe before the characters, because it would make sense more for the flow of this video. But we're here now, so let's just dig right into it. Well, now that we are here, here are some of the biggest false prophets for Jujutsu Kaisen. I mean, it's just, it's so good. Critical for giving it a 90 on the moist meter is, uh, he's gonna be in this video now. I don't usually watch moist meters, but I decided to watch his on Jujutsu Kaisen because I was hoping maybe I could find someone who shares my opinion on this mediocre to not so great anime. I just got way more orange because I just realized none of my lights were on. <laughs> Okay, anyways, uh, Critical gave it a 90, so basically he's dead to me. Honestly, watching this whole review from Critical just makes my stomach churn. Right off rip, he says, this is the best that Shonen can get. What do you fucking take me for, bitch? What the fuck does that mean, dude? I don't know, like, writing characters that, like, anybody would fucking care about, or, or anything, or maybe, like, ideas that, like, I could actually give a shit about, or, or they could even give a shit about. I never thought about that, I never thought about giving a shit about the, only fucking, the same fucking show you're making. He also says something that other YouTubers have said in the past, and that is that it just keeps getting better. Each episode just keeps getting better. No, dude. 
Like it peaked with the first couple episodes. It set up the premise, did not deliver on the premise, and then like it just didn't care to write any characters. I can't believe that it's like common consensus that it just keeps getting better. I've seen Sea Dog tweet about it. It's just fucking dead wrong. I don't know what these people are on right now. Heroin. Plus, he talks about how good the characters are. Like, I think you you just need to like plug in your brain or something, dude. You're it's short circuiting. And now I'm short circuiting, but you're running low on something, man. Anybody out there who wants to watch his video or has already watched his video, just take everything that he said in his video and just completely fucking reverse it. And that's my opinion. And of course, the correct opinion. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> Watching through his misguided video, I think the only thing that we can both agree on is that the fight scenes are epic. That's it. We'll get into it a bit more later, but I still don't think it's the second coming of God like a lot of people. It's not a 90 on the moist meter is all I'm trying to say. All this being said, I kind of did after watching the video remember that he doesn't you know he's not he's not like he's not based <laughs> guys he's not based that's all i gotta say i mean have you heard his opinion on jojo's like come on man i hate the goddamn jojo community the show is as mediocre as it could possibly be and yet the community raves about it and its memes i don't even know what his criteria for rating anything is because of how shitty his opinions on those things are hello I am anime reviewer Giguk. Next is Giguk for putting it number six in his 2020 top 10 anime list. I don't really blame him too much because 2020 was such a fucking shit show. I think we can just all agree for anime and just the world in general. But he put it above Kaguya-sama, Railgun, Tower of God. Tower of God wasn't even his top 10. Like, I feel like I'm losing it. Like, I'm just talking to a wall. Like, you know, the, the fucking gif? Like, that's me right now. That's me. Kind of the same shit is critical. He goes in gushing about the characters and the fight scenes and the power systems like dude i feel like all these fucking people are conspiring against the public trying to mislead them into like rating it high i feel like this is like interspecies reviewers all over again but at least interspecies reviewers is fucking funny do you know how many times i laughed at this anime show's not funny it sucks ass bro it's so garbage gig uk can have a semi pass because he ranked izuken above jujutsu kaisen and that's all that we care about we're gonna move on now i just had a vasectomy. Honestly, I feel bad about putting Scamboli into this group, but yeah, he's a Jujutsu Kaisen dick sucker too. We hate to see it. My favorite YouTuber, anime YouTuber, has betrayed himself and joined the masses talking big on the shittiest shown in anime. I don't mean that, guys. I was just being dramatic, guys. It's for the video. Please don't crucify me. Honestly, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of skip over Scammy's bit in this video because everybody watching this should just stop watching this video. Don't even continue watching it later or anything just stop watching it go watch scammy he's funny he's a good he's a good person but yeah i don't want to tarnish the good name of scammy so just just stop watching yeah i just give him kind of like a pass like a benefit of the doubt because he did make his video on jujutsu kaisen after like the first couple episodes were out and like i said i actually do like the first couple episodes of jujutsu kaisen later on as it as it goes on it just doesn't really add anything to it but yeah he read the manga and i'm sure the manga is good so he gets that pass we'll move on go watch scammy we'll move on do you have a guilty pleasure anime? Honestly, no, not really. Really? I don't, I don't really watch anime, ever. <laughs> Lastly is Sea Dog VA Connor. He's never made a video on it, so you might be like, ah, why is he on this video? Well, he does. He fucking constantly talks it up on Twitter and Trash Taste. He's got massive followings on both of those platforms, and people will just completely listen to his opinion just purely based off of his ethos. To be honest, Connor's taste is like a, a bit, um, simple i hope i'm not being an asshole by saying that but he has self-admitted to having a monkey brain on his podcast quite a few times so yeah in a way this is like the perfect anime for him you don't really have to get too attached to any characters not a whole lot of thinking you can just sit back watch some snazzy fight scenes and just don't care about the rest i suppose and the voice acting is really good and uh he is a voice actor i mean his name is uh sea dog va connor dog uh voice acting basically but to only like two things about a show and then tell thousands that it's like the most amazing thing ever no 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 i am not no the problem here is that you may slightly like the anime so you can talk about it on your podcast on twitter like who fucking cares really but then like a mix of all these people into one platform of youtube and like twitter and shit creates this 
Like Jujutsu Kaisen is a top 100 anime right now for some fucking reason. It's not the best of 2020. It's not the best of like anything. I can't think of a single thing that like, it's like, oh, it kind of sucks. But this one part, oh, that's the best of this thing. It's like got the best fight scene. No, it doesn't have the best fight scene. It's not the best shonen. What the fuck is it, dude? It's not good. Okay, well, kind of self-reflecting. I do sound a little bit bitter, a little bit of a bitter person. But yeah, I don't hate any of these people. I don't have any harsh feelings toward any of them. I'm just making a YouTube video. You all know how it is. But yeah, Crunchyroll gave it anime of the year and it's just weighing on my soul, guys. I'm, just, I'm sorry. We're, we'll move on. We'll move on from the bullying. Talk about the unoriginality. That man's an imposter. I've wrote this video a couple of times, a couple of drafts. The first draft of this video was was me talking entirely just about how this anime has no original ideas and the original ideas don't have a whole lot of soul put into them. I tried looking at the anime and trying to find some stuff that they've done originally and the closest I could come up with was the curse system. It's kind of spooky, kind of cool aesthetically, but even aesthetically it's still nearly the exact same as Parasite. I mean there are curses and humans and cursed humans and there are parasites and humans and parasite humans on the curses and and the parasites are both bad and if you become one of these half curse half humans half parasite half humans then you kind of have to learn how to live with your disadvantage and ultimately turn it into an advantage i would say jujitsu kaizen is less so about this like more intricate learn how to use it and more so just like ah just punch people that's pretty cool jujitsu kaizen punch people honestly if if any of this sounds cool i would just consider watching parasite instead of uh jujitsu Kaisen. I'll continue to talk about more anime uh, in this video. Just watch those anime instead of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Well, on that subject, actually, I, I did, while I was watching the first couple, I loved it. Uh, the first couple episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen, like I've said in this video before, is actually really good. And I decided to show it to my friend at work, my friend Broder. I told him, there's this new anime coming out. It's pretty cool. It's like Parasite, but instead of Parasites, it's Curses. And it's made by MAPPA. And everything's so cool. And the, the fight scene are epic and like it's all hand-drawn and they're spinning around each other like it's pretty cool you should watch it and he listened he watched it uh, both of us are caught up to this point it went from me convincing him to watch it to him trying to convince me that it's still a good show he would come into work at five guys we'd be hanging out you know slinging patties and be like oh did you see the the Mechamaru fight like yesterday whenever it came out. And I'd have a mental breakdown about Danganronpa and shitting robots for like the next 30 minutes. I mean like... Speaking of Brody, uh, let's just hope he's uh, not watching because he gets pretty mad when I start talking about this uh, this next part. The main character is reskinned Naruto. I said it earlier in the video and I I'm sorry Brody, uh, but it's true. He's an unpopular, dead parents having, spiky haired, brain dead, fights everything, main character has a demon inside of him. I don't know how much I have to spell it out for you, but if I have to, it's it's uh, uh, N-A-R-U-T, you get, yeah, Naruto, it's Naruto. I really don't understand people like my friend Brody who don't see the comparison at all and they just pretend it's like a completely original character when they literally have the exact same scene where they go into their own psyche and fight the demons inside of them. It's like, holy fucking shit, dude. You, like, you're asleep. You're asleep sleep right now. Fucking wake the fuck up, dude. At least Naruto as a character has a little bit of development. It did take like 700 episodes for him to get character development, but uh, okay, maybe that's a bad example. We'll just move on from that one. Naruto is bad enough. They literally just copy the character, uh, but there's some things that you just don't touch. You just don't, you just don't touch JoJo's is my point. You can't tell me Kento isn't literally just fucking Kira from JoJo's. Let me just talk about one of my favorite characters, Kira from JoJo's. Kira is a businessman who really wants nothing more than to keep to himself. Work, home, sleep, repeat. That is his life. That is his perfect life. But Kira, Kira's got a little bit of a weird fetish. I mean, we all have fetishes, right? You know, sometimes it's like you're up late at night and you find some sort of video and you're like, oh, wow, that, that awoken something in me. Well, uh, Kira's fetish is that he likes dismembered hands. So he does what any normal person would do in this situation. He kills ladies and takes their hands. He doesn't want the rest of them. He doesn't want like their baggage, emotional problems. He leave those behind. You just, just take their hands and you know, he'll take them home with him. Maybe he'll go on a date. Uh, there is a case where he goes to a bread store 
which is part of his routine, and he brings his hand along for a little day in the park. Eats a sandwich, you know, all this stuff. And it's literally such a similar comparison to Kento, the scene in the bread shop. But yeah, even not counting that scene, Kento is fundamentally the same as Kira. Just take away the interesting bits, the charisma, the weird hand fetish thing. Yeah, just, just replace it with like this kind of cliche, cold demeanor character. And that's, that's Kento. Even after all that being said, Kento is one of the best characters in the show. And that just shows you how poorly the rest of the characters are written that the best character second best in my opinion to gojo is just completely a ripoff they didn't even have the idea for it now i'm fine with like similar characters and character tropes being used in anime it's pretty enjoyable but i feel like this anime tends to uh, borrow without actually adding anything new or really giving a shit about anything that they're talking about or conveying in their show it's funny because you can look at something like promare and fire force where they literally have the exact same premise firefighters fight um fire people and then there's like sort of a like a dilemma there because they're still people right fire force and promare are the exact same but they are completely different in execution promare is like mega colorful and stylized and uh and gay and <laughs> fire force is shown in as fuck amazingly animated and action-packed it's also not as gay another good example is sundere sundere is like a template to put in your anime and a lot of people will call it like a cheap thing but people like it and I'm I'm among those people. There are huge differences from say like an Asuka to a Tenko. There are huge differences between all these different characters and that's because they are cut from the same cloth but they are not copy pasted like some of these other shows are. But yeah, who fucking cares about all that? Let's make Jujutsu Kaisen. Conclusion. The only times that I really felt like I was invested in the show was the first two, three episodes, uh, episode seven and episode 20. First couple set up a cool premise that they didn't really expand on or add to at all. A seven had Gojo in it and it was awesome. And then 20 had Gojo in it and it was uh, awesome. So kind of like the only reason to watch this show is for Gojo. And even then it's not really worth it. So I'm just saying guys. <laughs> and now while the fight scenes are cool and they're very well done, if that's like the, your only reason for watching this there's a lot better anime out there that has better fight scenes just to like name a couple off there's fire force jojo's mob psycho one punch one piece dororo even naruto i would even recommend god of high schools fight scenes are cool the rest of the show sucks but that's kind of the same deal with jujutsu kaisen here so if you're only watching for the fight scenes go to youtube look up god of high school fight scenes you'll have a good time so the last complaint is not that big of a deal it's just episode 9 19 people have been like gushing over it how it's like amazingly beautifully animated uh and people are talking about how they like went back and watched it multiple times and i i watched it once and i was watching obviously and i just don't i don't i don't get it guys i don't get it i saw uh, like there's this weird root part and it honestly looked awkward it was like jarring i don't know how people look at that and think yeah i'm gonna watch that again it's not like terrible but it's just like not something i would want to watch so many times i don't understand how people like gush over this sort of thing. Okay, well, I'm, d I'm done complaining now. If I've learned anything from Space Patrol Luco, an amazing show, I would say that if you like this, you should just continue liking it. Everybody likes what they likes, and there's a reason that you like it. Uh, but this is just for the people who blindly trust other creators. Maybe you could blindly trust me and just like dislike it. <laughs> or you could just uh, think for yourself and not follow these other huge YouTubers and also not follow me. You know, just do your own thing. Think like a fucking human being. Come up with your own conclusions for shows. Moral of the story is there's better shows out there. If you're just like a new watcher, just watch some other shit. Maybe go back and watch my last video about anime. That one would be good for new watchers. Or or you could just listen to any of the recommendations I gave in this. Feel free to let me know in the comments any sort of thing that I got wrong. We can argue in the comments. I'm all about it. I'm all about that, guys. But this video is over now. I guess we're gonna say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.